machinability effect during milling on different composition of JFRP using uncoated carbide cutting tool. Abstract nowadays, jute fiber reinforcement polymer, JFRP, is used as a cost-effective, eco-friendly, and obtainable material. It can be widely used in aircraft, marine, automotive, domestic upholstery approaches due to its various properties. During machining of JFRP, some problem arises in the time of assembly stage. Abrasive nature of jute fiber also affects on tool wear on the carbide cutting tools throughout the JFRP machining. For this reason, the life of the cutting tool becomes shorter and damages the surface quality. In this research, different compositions of the JFRP panel were fabricated and tool wear and delamination were measured after the CNC milling process. A preliminary experiment was conducted following the range of spindle speed from 1,500 rev slash min to 3,500 rev slash min and feed rate ranging from 150 mm slash min to 350 mm slash min results revealed that tool wear is higher at 70 30ths comparing to 60 40ths JFRP panel and delamination is lower in 60 40ths panel comparing to 70 30ths panel. The selected 60 40th jute composite was machined in different feed rate, spindle speed, and depth of cut according to the design of experiment, DO, table. It was found that tool wear is higher in higher spindle speed, 6328.43 rev slash min, feed rate, 391.42 mm slash min, and depth of cut, 2.21 mm. Highest tool life was achieved at the lowest depth of cut, 0.79 mm. Keywords JFRP, tool wear, tool life, delamination, solid carbide cutting tool omponent, formatting, style, styling. I. Introduction The importance of JFRP composite has quickly expanded in the fields of various applications such as aviation, automotive, marine, and domestic appliances. One. Fiber reinforced polymer, FRP, has a particular specific quality, high modulus of strength, great production rate, good dimensional perfection. The mix of two different properties makes a stronger bond and rarely found in other compounds too. FRP composites are usually fabricated through hands layup technique, winding, extrusion, vacuums bagging, and molding 3. However, a certain machining process is needed to get a close design, fittings, and tolerances. Machining processes are known as milling, drilling, slotting, turning, etc. FRP composites are the formation of two different properties in a one compound to increase the thermal and mechanical properties for. Jute fiber and epoxy resin are two different components in where reinforcement is jute fiber and epoxy resin is the polymer that plays an important role to form bonding with the fiber. JFRP composites are recently used as complex interconnections between the matrix and reinforcement. The machining of JFRP influences the materials and creating different types of problems. During machining fiber breakage, lattice splitting, fiber pull-out generate and make difficulties in machining 5. JFRP is a great degree of grading while machining and influence the execution of cutting devices with surface quality. Accordingly, the cutting tool and cutting conditions are necessary for the machining of composite materials. However, the demand for JFRP is increasing but the limited research is done to solve the machining problem at an optimum level. Some researchers focused on the machining FFRP composites in comparison to increase productivity comparing to traditional machining. Palani Kumar ETAL6 focused on the machining of glass fiber composite machining. Until now, no research has been conducted to find out the machining performance on the JFRP panel. Actually, machining of JFRP in a different composition is quite hard due to discontinuity, anisotropic nature, and different percentages of reinforcement and matrix material. The research on different compositions of JFRP panel machining has become one of the major aspects to find out the suitable composite panel for machining which will give less effect on tool wear and delamination. In this study, machining on the JFRP panel has been focused to find out machining outcomes. 2. Dot material and methods The experimental process was conducted on different compositions of the JFRP panel by using the CNC machine. 
the fabrication was done using a hands layup technique. The first composite panel was made in 60% reinforcement and 40% matrix material which consists of five alternatives layers of jute fabric. The panel dimension was 200 mm x 200 mm x 5 mm another panel 70 30ths was fabricated by 70% reinforcement and 30% matrix material with the same dimension. Fig 1 shows the illustration of the JFRP panel. An uncoated carbide cutting tool with a diameter of 8.0 mm and overall length of 60 mm, helix angle 300 with two flutes were used. Fig 2 and Table 1 show the cutting tool and geometrical properties of the solid carbide tool respectively. Chemical and physical properties are demonstrated in Table 2A and D Table 3. A CNC machine of 7.5 kW spindle power and a maximum spindle speed of 12,000 rpm was used. The tool wear of the cutting tool and delamination were measured biasing Nikon measuring microscope MM400. After 200 mm distance traveling, the tool wear and delamination were recorded. Fig 3 shows the machining setup of the JFRP panel. The machining setup is known as the clamping method. The panel was screwed on an aluminum-supported tool. Fig 4 shows the illustration of delamination measurement. Table 4 represents the general information of the JFRP panel. The selected composite was machined following DOE Table 5. 3. Dot results and discussion A. Dot tool wear analysis Tool wear is very important aspect that should to examine during machining. It can be seen that figure 5, A, and B, shows the effect of spindle speed and feed rate on the cutting tool. Figure 5, A, shows that the different spindle speed 1500 rev slash min and 3500 rev with a constant feed rate 150 mm slash min, depth of cut 1 mm. Here, the JFRP panel 60 40ths can be observed that at 3500 rev slash min spindle speed tool where 0.041 mm and 1500 rev slash min gives 0.036 mm. On the other hand, 70 30ths JFRP panel shows that whenever spindle speed 3500 rev slash min then the tool wear is 0.046 mm and the spindle speed is 1500 rev slash min then the tool wear 0.033 mm. It was found that due to the increase of spindle speed the tool wear increase also. The comparison study between these two composites. It was observed that 60 40ths composite panel tool life is better than 70 30ths composite panel. Figure 5, B, shows the feed rate effect on tool life in between two composite panel. It can be seen that the feed rate is increasing tool wear. Is increasing also. Many studies reported that feed rate affects on tool life significantly, due to the friction between the cutting tool and workpiece. The matrix removal is higher in the case of a higher feed rate. The feed rate was 150 mm slash min and 350 mm slash min with a constant spindle speed 3500 rev slash min and depth of cut 1 mm. The 60 40ths composite panel gives the tool wear 0.036 mm and 0.048 mm whenever the feed rate was 150 mm slash min and 350 mm slash min. Another panel 70 30ths shows that the tool wear 0.046 mm and 0.056 mm within the same feed rate like 150 mm slash min and 350 mm slash min. To do compare, it can be seen that 60 40ths panel shows the better tool life compared to 70 30ths panel. It would be happened due to the less matrix percentage in 70 30ths panel. Figure 5, A. Different spindle speed, 3500 rpm and 1500 rpm, effect on tool wear, B, different feed rate, 350 mm slash min and 150 mm slash min, effect on tool wear. B. Delamination analysis. Delamination is one of the most important factors for the rejection of the industrially made components which draw serious attention to the engineers for machining JFRP. 
the delamination factor was measured for these two composite panels in different spindle speeds like 1500 rev slash min and 3500 rev slash min within constant feed rate 150 mm slash min and depth of cut 1 mm figure 7 shows that, for 70 30ths panel, it was found that 1500 rev slash min and 3500 rev slash min spindle speed gives delamination 1.34 mm and 1.02 mm. Similarly, for 60 40ths panel the same spindle speed gives 1.23 mm and 0.86 mm delamination. Delamination in 60 40ths is less than 70 30ths panel. Now the delamination measured on different feed rates like 150 mm slash min and 350 mm slash min with a constant spindle speed 3500 rev slash min and depth of cut 1 mm figure 8 shows that feed rate 350 mm slash min effect for 70 30ths and 60 40ths panel delamination was 1.31 mm and 1.22 mm. 4. 150 mm slash min feed rate shows the delamination was 1.11 mm and 1.02 mm for 70 30ths and 60 40ths panel. It was found that 60 40ths panel gives the lowest delamination comparing to 70 30ths composite panel. Figure 6, A, different spindle speed, 3500 rpm and 1500 rpm, effect on delamination, B, different feed rate. 350 mm slash min and 150 mm slash min, effect on delamination. C. Toolware analysis for 60 40ths panel. Toolware is measured in the view of flank wear according to ISO, 1989, standard until 0.3 mm. In this machining also followed the machining until the carbide cutting tool reaches the ultimate flank wear. It can be seen from the figure 7 that different spindle speed. 671.57 rev slash min to 6328.43 rev slash min, feed rate, 108.58 mm slash min to 391.42 mm slash min, and depth off cut, 0.79 mm to 2.21 mm, is used to find the flank wear oft cutting tool. Figure 7, A, exhibits that whenever the spindle is higher, 6328.43 rev slash min, then the flank wear is very faster and after traveling 9600 mm distance reaches 0.311 mm flank wear. Gradually the spindle speed wash decreasing from 6328.43 rev slash min to 671.57 rev slash min then the cutting tool traveled a long distance to reach the ultimate flank wear. It can be seen from the figure also that 671.57 rev slash min spindle speed takes a long time to reach 0.307 m flank wear. It can travel 13,600 mm distance at lower spindle speed. It could happen because the cutting tool creates lower temperatures surrounding the cutting tool due to lower spindle speed 7. It also can be seen in figure 7, b, that different feed rate. 108.58 mm slash min to 391.42 mm slash min, Hassan effect on tool wear as well. The lower feed rate 109.58 mm slash min takes a longer time to reach at 0.309 mm flank wear and the distance traveled 10,200 mm. On the other hand, the highest feed rate 391.42 mm slash min traveled shorter distance. 9200 mm to reach at 0311 mm flank wear it can be done because the traversing rate increased with the increase in feed rate and the tool wear become faster 8 finally it can be seen in figure 7 c that whenever the depth of cut increased from 0.79 mm to 2.21 mm then the flank wear is also affected the depth of cut is higher than the cutting tool has to remove more materials from the surface and tool wear increases. At a lower depth of cut 0.79 mm shows that the carbide cutting tool can travel more distance comparing to 2.21 mm and 1.50 mm. Figure 7, A, Different Spindle Speed, 6328.43 
3,500 and 671.57 slash min, effect on tool wear, B, different feed rate, 391.42, 250 and 108.58 mm slash min, effect on tool wear, C, various depth of cut, 2.21, 1.5 and 0.79, effect on tool wear. D. Tool life analysis. Tool life is one of the major issues to cut the JFRP panel for the better output performance of machining. Figure, 8, illustrates that tool life is affected by the changes in spindle speed, feed rate and depth of cut. From the figure 8, A, it can be seen that whenever spindle speed increases from 671.57 rev slash min to 6328.43 rev slash min and the feed rate, 250 mm slash min, and depth of cut, 1.50 mm, was constant then the tool life was decreasing from 35.88 minutes to 14.4 minutes. It could happen because the higher spindle speed has an interaction force between the workpiece and tool material 9. It generates high temperatures between the workpiece material and tool to create faster wear in the carbide cutting tool. Figure 8, B, reveals that with the increase of feed rate from 108.58 mm slash min to 391.42 mm slash min then the tool life also decreased because the friction arises between the workpiece and tool material. It also generates high temperatures and decreases the tool life from 41.6 minutes to 13.5 minutes. Figure 8, C, shows that, higher the depth of cut and lower the tool life. The depth of cut was increased from 0.79 mm to 2.21 mm. Then tool life also decreased because of the lowest depth of cut have to remove less material comparing to higher depth cut. However, it can be seen that the lowest depth of cut, 0.79 mm, shows the tool life is longer comparing to the highest depth of cut, 2.21 mm. Figure 8, A, different spindle speed, 6328.43, 3,5671.57 rev slash min, effect on tool life, B, different feed rate. 391.42, 250 and 108.58 mm slash min, effect on tool life, C, various depth of cut, 2.21, 1.5 and 0.79, effect on tool life. 4. Conclusion In the investigation of the above study, it was found that a preliminary experiment on different composite panels shows that 60 40th JFRP panel is better than 70 30th panel. The spindle speed and feed rate both have an effect on this composite panel too. Tool wear is higher at 70 30th panel and delamination also comparing to 60 40th panels. The selected 60 40th composite panel was machined according to DOE table. After machining the selected composite panel, it was found that higher spindle speed, 6328.43 rev slash min, feed rate, 391.42 mm slash min, depth of cut, 2.21, gives the highest flank wear and tool life is decreased. The tool life increased at a lower depth of cut, 0.79 mm. These experimental table gives us the range of machining parameter and also the tool wear and tool life analysis. V. Acknowledgements This research was conducted in Tool and Dye Lab, Workshop and Metrology Lab in International Islamic University Malaysia. Composite Lab was used to fabricate the JFRP panel. Author is grateful towards the modern lab facility and help of lab assistant as well.